In this session, we'll look at some ways to edit existing feature line geometry. Specifically, we'll be exploring ways to add and remove curves. Now, a feature line is essentially a 3D line string. Feature lines are used to define both existing and proposed elements. Things like center lines, edges of pavement, curb and gutter, brake lines, retaining walls, flow lines, all of these items can be defined using feature lines. That being said, once a feature line is created, Civil 3D provides a large collection of tools that we can use to make changes to the 3D geometry. Today, we'll be looking at a couple of those tools. On my screen, I have drawn a feature line. Notice that I also have these small circles. These circles were created at elevation. We'll call those target points. If I hold my shift key in the mouse wheel, you can see that I can orbit this, and we can see that the feature line has been drawn to each of those points. It is therefore a 3D object. I'm going to go back to a top view by typing plan, and I'll press enter twice. Let me zoom out a little bit. So let's say that I would like to add a curve here in this bend around the outside of this feature line. One way I can do that is by selecting the feature line, and in the contextual ribbon we will find the Edit Geometry panel. From here I can choose Fit Curve, and when I move into the drawing I'm going to come down and choose Options for a minimum number of segments. Let me set this to 1, and I'll click OK. And you can see that when I hover near the feature line, it will attempt to create an arc between the closest three vertices. Knowing that, if I'd like to create a bend around here, I'm going to click right there to create an arc, and then I'll click right here to create another arc. I'll press Enter when I'm finished. Let's zoom in, and you can see that I've created two arced segments. Those pass through those control points, both horizontally, and if I orbit this up, we can see they pass through vertically as well. Let's go back to a top view, I'll type plan, and I'll press enter twice. So now that I've added some curves to this feature line, you may be wondering if it's possible to remove them. I can do that. Just a second ago when I edited the feature line, I did it by selecting it, and then I grabbed the tools here from the contextual ribbon. Let me press escape. Let's look at another way that we can edit feature lines. If I go to the modify ribbon tab, I can come over to the design panel and choose feature line. This will give me several of the same tools. Using this workflow, I can select the tool first and then choose the feature line second. To straighten this out, I'm not going to be using the fit curve command. I'm actually going to use the smooth command. If I select this, I can then come down and choose straighten, and then I can select my feature line, and I'll press enter. You can see that each curve was converted back to a straight segment. That being said, if I select the feature line, you can see that those elevation points are retained. Not a problem, if I want to remove these, I can come up to the Edit Elevation panel. I apologize for my small screen size. I'll choose Delete Elevation Point, and then I will click near each of these elevation points to remove them. And then if I'd like to put the feature line back the way it was, I can come up to Edit Geometry and choose Insert PI. I will then grab the center of this circle, enter, center of this one, enter, and then I'll press enter a couple times to get out of the command. That gets me right back where I started. I now have a continuous feature line that passes through all of those control points, both horizontally and vertically. Once again, we'll go back to a top view. Let's pan this down. Now, let's say I'd like to create an arc that goes from this beginning of the bend all the way around to the end. Still working off the Modify Ribbon tab, I'm going to choose Fit Curve, and then I will select my feature line and I'll come down and choose Points. Using this option, I can click the point at which I'd like my curve to start, and then I can come around and click the point at which I'd like my curve to finish. As you can see, Civil 3D says it's not mathematically possible to put a single arc in here that passes through all of these points. Do you still want to create the arc? I'm going to say yes, I do. I will then press Escape to get out of the command. If I zoom in, you can see that the curve that was created is kind of a best fit curve. If I select the feature line, we can see that even though it doesn't match the location of each control point horizontally, it does match the elevations vertically. Once again, we'll go back to a top view. I'll pan this down. If I'd like to remove this curve, I'm going to go back to the smooth option. I will then choose straighten. I'll select my feature line and I'll press enter. And you can see that single curve is converted into a single straight segment. Same as before, if I select this, you can see that the elevation points are retained. Let's go back to the Edit Elevation panel, and I'll choose Delete Elevation Point, and I'll click 1, 2, 3 to take those out. We will then put things back the way they were. I'll choose Insert PI, and I'll grab the center of this circle, Enter, this one, Enter, this one, Enter, and I'll press Enter a couple times to get out of the command. So knowing this, what if I'd like to create some curved geometry that passes through these points both horizontally and vertically? To do that, I'm going to use the Smooth option. Let me back up just a little bit. I'll launch Smooth. I will then select the feature line I'd like to smooth, and I'll press Enter. Now, one thing to note about the Smooth command, I cannot run that on a point-by-point -point basis. It's going to apply it to the entire feature line. 
Now, I don't know if you noticed, even in the straight segment here, it put a little bit of a bend. Let me click undo. You can see that straighten back out again. If I only want smoothing in this area, I'll need to break the feature line first. Let me choose break. I'll select my feature line and then I'll choose first point. I will select this end point as the first point and the second point. Let's choose break again. I will break this side. First point, we'll grab the end point here. The same point for the second point. This converts my feature line into three individual segments. Let me press escape. To create the curve right here, I can now choose smooth. I will select this feature line and I'll press enter. If I zoom in, you can see that that curve passes through those points both horizontally and vertically. We'll go back to a top view. Using the smooth option, I can also control the tangency going into and out of this curve. If I zoom in after selecting the arc, you can see that I've got an extra grip here. If I click this grip, I can drag it back and forth to adjust the tangency coming out of that last vertice. I'm going to move this to a point nearest to here. That creates a nice tangential arc. And we'll do the same thing with the other side. Let me click this one and I'll say nearest to here. Let's zoom out. I'll press escape. Finally, if I'd like this to be a single feature line, I can simply join it back together. We'll come back up to the Edit Geometry panel and I'll choose Join, and then I'll select this segment, this one, and this one. And I'll press Enter. And you can see I now have a single feature line with curves through the bend area that pass through all of the control points, both horizontally and vertically. We'll go back to a top view, and then we'll wrap things up by restoring this feature line to all straight segments. If I launch the Smooth command and I choose Straighten, I'll select the feature line. Let me zoom in. When I press Enter, we don't get exactly what you might expect. The first time I ran this command on a smoothed feature line, I thought it would restore the straight segments between the control points. If I select this and we take a look at the grips, you can see that I have the appropriate grip at each control point. I also seem to have these extra PIs between the control points. I'm going to come up to the Edit Geometry panel. I'll choose Delete PI, and I will click next to each of these. To remove them. When I'm finished, I'll press Enter, and then I'll press Escape to get out of the command, and we're right back where we started. I've got a feature line made up of straight segments that pass through all of my control points, both horizontally and vertically. So, when it comes to editing feature lines, we can easily convert our geometry back and forth between straight segments and curves. That being said, in this session we have only explored a handful of the available editing tools. When you get a chance, try experimenting with these, as well as some of the others, and you'll find you can create most any 3D line string that your design may require. Would you like to explore other Autodesk infrastructure ideas and workflows? If so, please visit the Civil Immersion blog by scanning the QR code or by following the URL listed below.